You'll also notice from this vantage point, we have three different types of raised foundation systems. If <clears throat> the master bedroom is a more traditional pier and beam, it's um, a lower cost system. To the left is a stem wall foundation with a flood vent, with flood vents. In a flood zone, which this is, we have built the house three feet above the base flood elevation. And that gives the homeowner the lowest flood insurance premiums that they'll pay from then on. So it's worth that added investment and it gives the cushion of safety. So the stem wall foundation is a crawl space, um, a concrete block, stem walls with flood vents that must be within one foot of grade to relieve flood pressures if waters come in and out. The, the rest of the house has a, essentially an elevated slab. It's a slab cap over a filled stem wall foundation that is filled with concrete and of course steel reinforcements. So it's a very solid, a very desirable kind of system except it is very expensive. So the, the raised floor systems like pier and beam and stem wall are more affordable, less expensive, but they do offer um, challenges in terms of how to insulate that subfloor in a flood zone in a way that will not create a moisture problem. Uh, conventional insulation systems often result in subfloor moisture issues, uh, buckling wood floors, and sometimes even to the point of decay.